Hi, I'm Mary Grady reporting for AvWeb from AOPA Airport Fest in Hartford, Connecticut. We're taking a look at the Bristol. It's a Czech-built all-metal LSA, now being imported into the U.S. by an affiliate of Liberty. Here's John Calla to tell us all about it. We are introducing a new light sport aircraft uh, into the U.S. market. Uh, it's called the Bristol. It's made in the Czech Republic. This airplane, we've, we've been looking for a light sport aircraft to represent here in the United States that um, encompassed all of the uh, things that people have told us over the years that they would like to see in a light sport aircraft, uh, such as um, the width of the cabin. This cabin has a 51 inch cabin width and it basically where it counts, between the shoulder room. So we have plenty of shoulder room in the aircraft. Um, the aircraft is fast, it's clean, it's easy to fly. Uh, it has a really good useful load. So there's a number of features that were added to this aircraft that people were asking for and we're very proud of that. Construction is one of the, one of the nicer features or one of the best features of the aircraft. Uh, the designer, uh, Milan Bristella, who is also an A&P mechanic, when he designed the aircraft, he designed it with the, um, with the maintenance in mind. Because it's easy to buy an airplane, but then you need to have it maintained. And so the way he's designed this airplane, it makes it much easier for a uh, mechanic to work on it. I don't know if you can see from here, but the way the engine is mounted and how far it is away from the firewall, we have full access to the back of the engine uh, from the, inside this compartment, where in some other airplanes you may have to pull the engine to get the things at the back. A couple of the other uh, features that we, we, uh, you won't see, but are, are part of the aircraft that make it a, a better aircraft, it's got a stainless steel firewall, uh, which is really nice. It uses all A&N hardware, so it uses all aircraft hardware. Uh, the fuel lines that go through the fuselage are all metal fuel lines. It uses a, a, a 6061T aluminum, so that it's, um, it's a very lighter but yet stronger material. The aircraft is CNC punch, so all of the holes that are, uh, that are made in this aircraft are done by a computer so they all match. So when you start putting all of those features together, it really makes a difference. As far as performance is concerned, the aircraft um, is just like most of the other aircraft, except that it, it, it's a lot more stable. Uh, we've, we've flown several. Um, it's off the ground in about 750 feet. It'll climb out between 1,000 and 1,500 feet per minute. Um, it's, it'll stall speed is 30, 34 knots. On the, with dirty, so I mean, when you look at the characteristics, it meets and exceeds those standards. Uh, there are 42 of them currently flying in the world. We are very fortunate to be the importer of this aircraft, so this airplane that you see here before you is our first airplane in the United States.